You like whenever I season your meat with my arm? No! I don't like Salt Bay, and neither do a lot of people. There are men in our lifetimes that have done terrible, crazy things. The suspect has morphed himself into this abnormal and extremely creepy character. I didn't do anything. There are men who have started wars. Hassan Piker! I'm coming to kill you! Conquered countries. This man, Salt Bay. Did he cook a bunch of puppies? No. Did he hurt someone who needed help instead of helping them? No. Is he racist? No. Is he a bad fellow? No. He sprinkled salt like this a lot. And that got him real famous. But he has done so many things that are just unbelievably dumb and annoying. And there's plenty of reasons, a plethora if you will, of reasons that people just don't like him. I will say I think the internet hates him more than I do though, to be fair. Who even is this guy? His name is Nusrat Gokcha. Nusrat Gokcha. I think I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> Comment down below if not. I like to call him Salt Bay though, because that's a terrible name. That's way worse than Nusrat Gokcha. He is a man from Turkey, a famous chef and a butcher of big meat. Huge meat. He's always cutting big meats. He's worked around the world to learn all sorts of different recipes and learn a bunch of different ways to prepare dishes. I think, I don't know. I really don't know. And alas, in 2017, Nusrit uploaded this video. Sprinking, sprinking salt, okay? He's, he's doing the thing, you've seen it before. It's so cool, yeah, that, anyways. That got millions of views somehow and turned him into a meme that then spread him around for everyone to see. And unfortunately, this shtick of his, the salt over the elbow thing, has carried with him over his entire career. The whole thing! Especially when celebrities coming to his restaurants. <laughs> and his restaurant, by the way, is called Nusirat or something. Nusir, Nusirat, Nusirat, go, go, cheese, go cheese. I'm not sure. You can't take yourself seriously while sprinkling salt like this and not have a massive, resoundingly large ego. And his little sprinkle isn't the only thing. He also wraps steaks in gold and it costs $2,500 for a steak wrapped in gold, man. It's a wag wag you. It's not even like, crazy high quality, insane, dry age. I mean, maybe it is, but it also has gold on it, which doesn't add anything to the flavor. Gold foil also doesn't even cost that much money. And our final piece of gold leaf here brings us to $102. If that's all it takes to open a restaurant, a little sprinkling salt and some elbow grease, I mean, I could do that. <laughs> I burn steaks a lot and my, I, I set my fire alarms off Pretty much every time I make steak, I see her. I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty good cook, to be honest with you. Tara, can you say down below and put a video of yourself saying that I'm better than Salt Bay, <laughs> please? Um, and don't talk about the time that I um, set all the fire alarms off for like two hours in the house, though. Don't, don't talk about that time. Um, but yeah, to talk about how good I am. Here's an image of one of his steaks. <laughs> wow, that looks funny. Good and stuff. Come to think of it, though, I don't think I've ever seen this guy ever eat something. It's always him cutting steak or feeding people. Women. He likes to feed women who have men, which is baller. <laughs> it's so disrespectful. I love it. Dude, just like five foot three walking around feeding women steak. I don't think I've ever seen him put anything into his mouth. Oh, except for the winner's medal for the World Cup. That's one of the reasons people f hate this guy. I don't like this person at all. This this video, the World Cup thing, when I first saw that, I was like, all right, I already talked shit about Salt Day once. I'm going to do it again. This guy sucks. And for formally, I invite you to have a steak cook-off with me, Salt Bay. I invite you to come down to Texas, all right? You can get down here and you can, if you can out cook a steak, you use your elbows, I'll use my ass crack to season the salt, to season the meat. I'll sprinkle it down my back, right down through my ass, all right? And then we'll see. We'll make food for the whole town. We'll let the orphans taste it, all right? We'll get the town orphans out. I think this is the reason that he hasn't really eaten much on camera, though. He eats like a an animal. I gotta give it to Salt Bay, though. He's shredded. He's in good shape. Probably on test. I don't know. He does. He's not very big, but it looks like he. He seems like he'd be someone who would just take every shortcut known to man. And you know, I don't. I don't know him that well. <laughs> he's like the Liver King, but somehow way worse in every single way. Like I mentioned, when he fed that woman in that one video, where he's just kind of feeding the woman. And my fiance oh, was not going to let that man feed me. He's kind of a villain. The dude is a villain. The World Cup thing. The guys. But that's why nobody likes. Him. Okay, that's why nobody likes Salt Bay. He has this weird, clean celebrity chef image and somehow gets invited to stuff. He was invited to the World Cup by officials. That's crazy. Do they not watch commentary YouTubers? <laughs> what idiots. Guy's an absolute pest, though.
the glasses, the rip figure, the weird way he dumps salt on people's food. He's definitely a creature and a wild specimen to say the least. Another reason people probably don't like him, or at least this is just a reason that I don't like him, it's because every single video, he's wearing these ominous bug glasses. He's always wearing his bug glasses inside, in the, a poorly lit, shitty steakhouse that serves burnt, gold-covered steaks. He's got them bug goggles on. What's he hiding under there? Mm. Another fun little fact about this little feller that you might not have known. You know Venezuela, that South American country that's been in turmoil the last couple of years? Well, the president of Venezuela, Nicolas Maduro, a few years ago when he won the election and didn't ban all opposition, refused to accept the results, and also refused to transfer power to Juan. And that guy, Nicholas, was seen hanging out with Salt Bay, which is dope. This video showing him serving Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro, the leader of a country whose citizens are struggling so much financially. That does make sense. Salt Bay seems like he might be the dictator of a South American country, I'm gonna be honest. As you can imagine, this caused a little bit of backlash because this was a time in which Venezuela's currency was worth seven times less than the gold in World of Warcraft. That's a legitimate cold hard fact, baby girl. But in that time, regardless of what was going on in the country of Venezuela and with the people, who cares? Nicholas was getting his rocks off to Salt Bay's tender meats while his people literally went hungry. That's hilarious. Not the people going hungry, but Salt Bay being such a douche. <laughs> That's funny. Now that you know a little bit about Salt Bay, he's rich as hell. Okay, guys. I mean, this has made him so wealthy that it is mind boggling. The dude has made money. He has an overwhelming amount of customers, a bunch of restaurants around the world. They want to see the Salt Bay in person. Influencers, celebrities, all the heroes of the modern age love this guy. Kings, queens, everyone that's for the people loves Salt Bay. Yes, that's right. A-list celebrities love eating at Nusseret, a two-star restaurant. I need to create some kind of dumb, wacky cooking trend and just milk that shit shit till the teat runs dry as the desert. The dude's got a net worth of $75 million in 2022. How is that possible? How is that even possible? And like I said, there's locations of his restaurant everywhere. I'm pretty sure they just put one in Dallas, Texas. I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna order a big fat, juicy <laughs> steak and piss all over it. Just <laughs> shut up. Why you bark whenever I do that? <laughs> They're in England. Greece, Turkey, Qatar, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia. He even has a hotel and a burger shop, which is not nearly as cool. Burger shops are lame. One thing that's funny to me and doesn't exactly reflect the level of success that he's achieved is the reviews of his food, the reviews of his restaurants. That's what makes a chef become popular by making good food, right? No, no, not in this modern day and age. It is not worth the hype. Is the steak transcendent? No, the steak is mundane somewhat tough and rather bland. The hamburger is overcooked. The tartare is overchopped. The cocktails are terrible, and the water, which we ended up buying, is $9 and does little to quench our thirst. Does that matter? It does not matter. One does not visit Salt Bay for steak alone any more than one goes to Mass for the wafers. You guys don't go to Mass for the wafers? Maybe it turns out a flair for the dramatic doesn't always mean you have culinary talent. He just knows how to market himself and create an image, which is not really that much of a skill, to be honest. You just have to be different and weird and persistent. People with egos do very, very, very well at that. The guy thinks he's a rock star, honestly. He's never addressed any of the hate. He's never, like, apologized really for anything. It's, it's terrible. His food is always terrible. There's so many videos of him just getting exposed. He doesn't... It's... It's really sad, to be honest. Seems like he's doing something wrong, to be honest with you guys. I really don't know. And it seems like his staff kind of follow suit and how dorky they all are. They dress up like him. They all pray at the altar of Salt Bay. It's weird. They do some dumb stuff. For example, have a drink that's on fire with a paper straw. That doesn't exactly make that much sense to me. And I'm not even that smart. Salt Bay loves using fire as a prop in his restaurants. Many times in his videos, you're, you can see the insane amount of just flame. He loves flame. Dude has a hard on for fire. I can't, I like it too, a lot. I like fire a lot, but it's not always fun in games. Sometimes you burn stuff and sometimes stuff is people's faces. In fact, in September of 2018, a Czech YouTuber that I'm not even gonna try to pronounce their name, visited the Nusrit restaurant in uh, Istanbul and was the victim of a terrible fire show accident. The YouTuber experienced second and third degree burns on 35% of her entire body, including her face. Now, Salt Bay himself wasn't there to cause this accident, 
obviously, as you could probably imagine, he probably wouldn't be around anymore if that happened, if he like literally threw flaming liquids on a woman's face. However, this was one of his larger, more popular locations, and I feel like safety should be at the highest level at the most one of your most popular locations. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I'm not a restaurateur. I'm not a douche with bug goggles. But this sort of thing isn't out of character for the image and brand of Salt Bay. The dude loves throwing caution to the wind, it seems. Maybe after this event, it cost him some business, or maybe he had to pay some hospital bills, because right after that, in 2019, four of his employees were fired after confronting him about taking their tips. And the dude avoided a trial and lawsuit by paying them out 200 grand, which is hilarious. Why not just give them their tips? Now, he did dodge the limelight there because he just paid out and it, nobody had to say anything about it, but still public knowledge. And since his peak in 2017, 2018, the reviews for his restaurants have gone terribly down. I don't exactly know why, but it seems like the real central reasoning for this is just the extreme overpriced nature of the food that isn't even good. It's just meat. It's just meat and salt. And the meat quality doesn't even meet that. <laughs> what he's charging for, meat. Here's an example of something hilarious. This is a receipt being charged $44 for Red Bulls. Caused a little bit of outrage. And it's led people to say that the only reason he has rich people going to his restaurants is just because it's too expensive overall for normal people. So rich, but that doesn't really make much sense. But people say that for some reason, I don't know. You gotta, have, there's some kind of weird clout mind virus that everybody has, especially rich, famous people. And they just wanna eat this dude's meat for some reason. The recent drama. You guys probably saw the World Cup headlines with Salt Bay just being an absolute nuisance. That's the reason I made this video. Like I said, I don't like this guy. I haven't. I've talked shit about him before. You guys know that. But the recent stuff is hilarious, okay? The guy was invited to the World Cup, which is a big event. If you didn't know, if you're American and you don't really care about sports other than football, go Cowboys! We're going to the Super Bowl! Well, you may not have realized how big the World Cup is. It's massive. And the dude like Salt Bay who hangs out with Leonardo DiCaprio, DJ Khaled, Jason Statham, uh, and also Gianni Infantino, or the f his name is the dude, the president of FIFA. He befriended this guy, and he's got access to a higher circle of friends. That has really gotten him into the spotlight. Mm, on the 18th of December, 2022, the World Cup final took place in Qatar. Argentina with Messi at the helm would win and hold up the trophy celebrating their victory. In Buenos Aires, a bus carrying Messi was so slow due to all the traffic he had to be airlifted out. The roads held four million people celebrating in the street. An estimated crowd of four million. It was a huge moment for all FIFA fans, including Salt Bay. That muskrat took the spotlight before the little bus ride. He broke the rules, all right? You're not supposed to touch the trophy. It's hard to get it. You're not supposed to touch it. And he's just, I'm grabbing it. You are only supposed to touch the trophy if you are a past winner, a current winner, or a head of state. Like Joe Biden or something. <laughs> I don't know. He's probably not allowed to touch it either. He literally grabbed it out of this guy's hand. It's so gross. It's so disgusting. I want to just... Not really. I don't actually want to do that. That seems a little, that seems a little far. But he does... I do not... I want, his, I want to see him burn. All right? I want to see second degree and third degree burns over 35% of his body. I'm just kidding, that's also a joke. Guy's slapping the trophy too, and he stole it from a baby as well, man. He stole it from a baby. He's literally stealing, not even stealing candy from a baby, stealing a World Cup from a baby. By the way, I joked about it earlier, but he literally did the salt sprinkle thing over the World Cup. This guy's ego is so out of control that it is hilarious to me. It's crazy. People hate him so much. Like. I want a meteor to come out of the sky. Is it legal to say this? I would like a meteor to come out of the sky and blow him up. Is that illegal to say? Is that like a heart, like some kind of threat? No, it's not. A, I wish a meteor would come out of the sky and blow him right up. Grabbing the trophy isn't everything. It's just an object, like I said, but Messi's a legend, like truly a genuine legend. Him and Ronaldo, everybody knows the feud or whatever the f <laughs> choosing sides. I don't really care that much. Well, Salt Bay does. He grabbed him and just stole him to the side to take a picture and he's like flexing like a villain. How did he get onto the pitch? I don't know. But this got him a lot of flack from a lot of people. Well deserved. So much indeed that the president of FIFA, aka Infantino, unfollowed Salt Bay on all platforms. Now that's rough. That's a fat L. Dude went on there thinking he could just spray his seed everywhere and pull people in. Hey Messi, come here. Come here. You like that? I don't think we'll be seeing much of Salt Bay on the pitch anymore, guys. Or just, I think his days are numbered, to be honest, really, in my opinion. And that's probably for the better. He needs to stay in the kitchen. 
You need to get back to the kitchen and cook meat better. Don't burn it, don't put so much salt on it, and don't use gold, you dumb piece of shit. Although he's a villain and I said I wished a meteor would blast him out of existence, uh, he still deserves some semblance of respect. I just have, I'm having trouble finding it in my body. I'm feeling very nihilistic. I'm feeling very nihilistic recently. All right, guys, I don't know what's wrong with me. I think it's the January CPMs. Dude is a successful restaurant. He travels all around, whatever. He's just a huge douche. Oh, well.